kind enough to send me a unique code danny1 and danny2 on your next purchase on poison poison is a leading online fashion marketplace for authentic brands selling sneakers apparel bags watches and accessories of designer labels and luxury brands when you take some time to scroll through the website you will soon realize how incredible their prices are in comparison to other websites or marketplaces while also providing us with the best customer service, premium packaging, and cute, beautiful designs for everyone. Today, I finally got mine and I'm gonna be showing you, sharing with you my little unboxing. And here's the ones that I chose. I have in my hands my brand new Nike sneakers that I chose myself and they're so cute. I couldn't wait to show you any longer. I'm super excited because these are also my first pair of original Nike shoes and I love them. <laughs> I seriously do. Look at how beautiful they are. I'm so excited because now I'm gonna be able to combine them with all the outfits for spring and summer. And I'm going actually on different trips this summer and I cannot wait to take pictures and post them on Instagram and stuff like that because I always been wanting to try them. I've been seeing them on a lot of girls on Pinterest and I'm so happy. <laughs> As I shared with you guys before, the sneakers come in this beautiful box. And for someone like me who doesn't know a lot about sneakers and worries about wasting money on fake ones poison helps us by legit checking all items before delivery when i receive the shoes and when you are gonna receive the shoes you're gonna receive this little card which is an identification card proving that they are authentic this is the buckle and this is the card i chose this specific sneaker because this color is really cute it makes you look crisp and clean and it's my favorite color I think the color blue makes very well with a lot of different outfits. So now we're gonna try and find different outfits to wear with the sneakers. And I'm gonna be showing you that, sharing with you. Number one. I need to buy more clothes. <laughs> Remember, Poison not only sells the sneakers, but all sorts of accessories and apparel at best prices. So if you want to refresh your wardrobe, which I probably should, for spring and summer, take some time to click the link on the description box and use my code Danny1 and Danny2 on your next purchase. Thank you again, Poison, for sponsoring this video. And I hope you guys get to try it and love it as much as I do. Now let's continue with the video. Oh my god, ow. <laughs> hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is easter easter sunday should i leave this on it's kind of cute i'm gonna leave it on happy sunday today is easter happy C easter if you're watching no you're not watching this on easter but like happy easter anyways i hope you had an amazing easter today is easter for me sunday it's around Wow, it's 9.30. I woke up and I did my makeup. I'm waiting for my parents to wake up so that we can go downstairs and make some breakfast. Today we have a lunch with my American grandma and I'm super excited for that. But since today's the last day of March, I really wanted to talk about the books that I read and included. <laughs> in this little blog. So I'm just gonna tell you yes or no. It's gonna be super simple. If you wanna read the description of the books, you can go on Goodreads. My Goodreads is this one. And if you click each book, they're gonna give you the description. This is just my opinion on the books. Super easy, super simple, so that we don't lose a lot of time, okay? First book I read was The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. That's a no for me. I gave it two stars. I really didn't enjoy it that much. Number two, we got Binding 13, which it's a pretty thick book. I gave it three stars. 
and that's a yes for me i do recommend i did like it it's like a comfort book next one all systems red this one is a little novella and it's actually science fiction i see i think it's sci-fi didn't like it at all i was very very bored and it was a very small book but i was very bored like i just wanted to finish the book that's one star then we got book lovers i love this book i gave four Point five to this book. Emily Henry is one of my favorite authors, so I'm very excited for her next book coming this month. So that's a yes for me. Then we read Block Cake. Very good as well. I loved it. Four stars. That's another yes for me. The Inheritance Games. Three stars. 3.2. It was okay. I just feel like it lacks a lot of romance. And I was expecting more romance and like the characters I just didn't buy with any characters. So but I like it and I want to continue the series. Next one, we do have the books for this one. People We Meet on Vacation. This I like better than Book Lovers and I gave it, I think, 4.5 as well, but I love it a lot. This one is a big yes, Friends to Lovers. So cute, I loved it. Next one was The Nightingale. I gave that two stars. That one is historic fiction historical fiction and i'm not really into it i'm not really into history and stuff like that so that's the reason why it's kind of sad if you want to read it if you like history romance history fiction then give it a try but i'm just not that girl you know next one the serpent and the wings of night I love this book. I love this book. I think it's the only one so far that has a spicy scenes. It's just one chapter, but I loved it. In my opinion, I just loved it. I didn't expect it. I didn't know this book had a spicy scenes, but I liked it and I really, really liked the book as well. I gave this one four stars as well. Next one, Taken Made, was my March five star read. I absolutely adore this book. I cannot even explain Ailey Hazelwood is like incredible with this book, with this book. Oh my gosh, I love it and I want to play chess now because of how much I love this book. That's the power of an author. Do read it. Do read it. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Next one I read was A Little Life. I cried so bad with this book. I cried so bad at the ending. It was very big. I listened to the audiobook for some time while I was doing other stuff throughout my days. And I really enjoy it. I do not recommend per se. It's kind of traumatic. Please check trigger warnings. Like I will tell you this multiple times because I don't want you to go blind with this book. Go and check trigger warnings because there's a lot of topics in here that can be triggering for a lot of you. I gave this one four stars as well. Really enjoy it. And last one, I read it in a day, if he had been with me. I gave this book 4.5, I think so. I adore this book. Adore this book. Loved it. Yes. Anyways, those are the 11 books that I read this month. I hope you get to read some of them. I'm also wearing my Clement t-shirt. My bra doesn't really match, but let's just not look at that, okay? Let's just not look at that. I'm gonna... You guys, we have a little sad news. Someone in my family in Colombia just passed away from a heart attack and it's just a lot, a lot right now with my family. It makes you think a lot. We already had our time with my parents, if you know what I mean. But right now we're going for lunch with my grandma. So I wanted to show you my outfit. Ignore that. Um, boots. And I'm wearing like a pink shirt and this sweater is from my mom. I'm just gonna um, chill today and I'm gonna spend time with my family and my grandma and be happy. And it's the same for you. I just wanted to share that because you never know. Don't ever take anything for granted and just enjoy your life as much as possible and be happy and spend time with your family and friends and if you're in recovery, get better now for you and for others around you that love you and want to see you well and i want to see you well okay let's go good morning it's the next day i am getting ready right now i i didn't end up vlogging a lot yesterday um because of the family situation and also i just wanted to be present with my family so it was a nice afternoon we spent there pretty much the whole day 
until the night we ate some cake we had some food we came back my grandma she made some bread she learned how to make sourdough bread so she gave us some of that and i had that with dinner as well it was really nice like i don't know just spending time with my family mm, i have a pimple in here and it's like very big <laughs> i'm trying not to touch it today it's gonna be a weird day i don't know Let's see what happens today. I will keep you updated. The book is going very well. I am on page 150, I want to say, 130, one, from 130 to 150. And I've been loving it. It's a lot of politics. So if you're not into like politics and stuff, then maybe don't read it. There's not a lot of romance, but the tension is there, which I care a lot. <sighs> so yeah, my camera is about to... <clears throat> run out of battery so if suddenly it just goes away then i'm sorry and bye <laughs> i guess i don't know guys it's way much later like way much later i had breakfast i had lunch i actually gave myself a full hour of just reading like just reading and this morning i was on page like 130 something and now i am on page 300 i've been reading so much today and i think it's because i also have a lot of anxiety i'm just like i don't want to be on my phone i don't want to do anything i just want to read i just want to be in this world and I'm almost done with the book. I'm about to go with my mom to physical therapy because she has physical therapy again. And I go with her so that I can translate. And I think I'm gonna be done by then. And I will come back. But so far, um, I've been liking it so much. I feel like this is such a slow burn and I love a slow burn. I'm trying to order some glasses, some new glasses. And I lost my prescription for the second time. And I have been on the phone for a long time. And they cannot give me the pupillary distance and i'm kind of mad because i had it on a piece of paper but i cannot find the piece of paper that i had it on so i'm kind of just breathing just breathing i'm just gonna breathe hi guys it's a couple of hours later a lot of hours later actually it's 7 59 i had a little problem with the bank and i had to call the bank i was there for two hours oh gosh it became like a lot a lot but i'm finally 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 here home finally finished the book actually i finished the book you guys the ending <gasps> uh caitlin and i are reading at the same time and i text her and she just finished and she was like this is insane this is insane like holy macaroni like literally look at our chat like literally like i just finished about like a lot and i was like caitlin uh, text me when you're done and she did and she's like oh my god it's so good i gave it five stars yeah like I need to give this book five stars because I really, really enjoy it. It was pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna make some dinner right now. I'm gonna shower. So I need to do a brand video right now. Yes, at eight o'clock, but it's like nighttime routine and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that right now for a brand. <laughs> That doesn't look good at all. And I'm more chill right now that I am not stressed about the bank situation and that I could figure it out what happened and everything and I just feel so much better right now. I tend to over stress about stuff and this was actually something that you will stress about because it's money but since it's already like solved, I need to breathe and I need to like, I don't know, like decompress. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna put some music. I'm gonna read. I'm just gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I, I, I feel like affirmations help a lot. So this book, second in the crow prints, 
absolutely loved it ate it up ate it up in like a day i love the main characters so much both of them i love Carden and jude anyways we're starting the queen of nothing guys i decided to film because my mom got chick-fil-a this morning for breakfast at her job and someone didn't come so she had an extra one for her and she brought it home and i've never tried a chick-fil-a biscuit i've never tried a biscuit in my life so I'm gonna try it today uh, for the first time ever. Even if it's like nine o'clock, who cares? And then we're gonna read. This is how it looks like if you have never seen a biscuit. It's not something very popular in Colombia. I don't even think we have this in Colombia. Like biscuit, it's not a thing in Colombia, so. Mmm, mm, that is actually so good. It's like buttery, the bread. I think I'll give a little salty, but I like salty stuff. Mm, we're gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it deserves it. Also with the chicken, why nobody told me biscuits were so freaking good. That night, Oriana releases a snowy owl with a left. Good morning guys, I just did my makeup. It's 9.59, almost 10. I ate breakfast and now I'm gonna read for a little bit. I am on page, I don't even know, because while doing my makeup, I was listening to the audiobook, but I am on chapter 12, page 114. Yesterday night, I read a little bit, and I just love it. I love it. I've been loving this series so freaking much, and I'm super excited to continue to read. Amazing. Why do I, why do I giggle so much? I love it. Gotta do some work in my computer and I made myself a little mid-morning snack so that I can power through the work that I have to do in my computer. This is coffee, this is berries, a mix of berries and Misfits Protein Bar. This one is the white chocolate cookies and cream. I love to dip this in here. You guys remember last night when I told you that I had to film a brand deal? Okay, I filmed it. I was super happy with it. You know what happened yesterday? I left it on my drafts on TikTok and it was so embarrassing because I was like fixing myself and doing everything and like it was unedited. Like I didn't edit anything for that. And then this morning I woke up with a bunch of comments saying like, were you supposed to post this? And I was like, I deleted it so fast. I didn't post it. I swear, TikTok, TikTok posted for me. Did me dirt with that. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's so embarrassed. I woke up so embarrassed. So embarrassed. Emails. I need to actually pass what I have on this memory card in my computer so that I can start editing. We got this. We got this. This one is one of my favorite flavors. Like, look at that. It just looks so good. Shut up. Shut up. Let's work. Me grabas. Pero estás poniendo el dedo y está así. Ahí está grabando, ¿sí? Está, sí. está volteado. Hi. Solo admito que lo tengas. Hi, guys. I am almost done with the book. I have been reading. I did a little one hour challenge. I went to Whole Foods to get some eggs. And now I'm almost done. I am on page 278. My dad is recording and we are outside of Barnes and Nobles because we're going to get the next one because we love it so much. We're not the next ones, just like the next series of Holly Black. So. Let's go. You guys, these Barnes and Nobles is the prettiest Barnes and Nobles I've ever seen in my entire life. I just want to stay here all day, like literally all day. What the heck? This is so cute. I love it so much. It's an awful house. I wanted to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for a lifetime for you to come down Oh, nothing feels the 
my book and the two new books absolutely amazing you know